There's shrimp chips back there. <laughs> In case you're wondering what that is. Okay, so what's up? My name is Stevie and I'm here to do the quintessential booktube newbie tag. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for ages and you know, I feel like it's just time. It's been ages. <laughs> okay, so the first question is why did you start this channel? Um, to be fair, the channel itself I've had since I was probably 13. You know, whenever I started actively going on YouTube with my email that I've had for ages. Um, so yes, I've been on the platform as a viewer, a commenter, a discord chatter <laughs> since like 2014, 2015. So um, I'm very much like a part of the community, but I've never really made anything or anytime I attempted to, I like immediately got rid of it. So I thought, you know, no, no time quite like the present to just do it and to me I just have such an insane passion for books and I just if I don't <laughs> if I don't babble about it every single day I kind of go insane and I think I'm driving my husband insane I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> not gonna lie most of it is just a desire to talk about books even if no one were to watch it that's not a problem for me um that's cool, you know? I can just babble by myself, edit my own videos, watch myself, and that would be perfectly fine. Um, but the biggest aspect that is so alluring to me is just having the community, talking to other people, meeting other people who have shared interests, and yeah, babbling with them. Getting, freaking out about fictional characters till the end of time. <laughs> okay. Number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube. Um, so <laughs> I think in general I want to do a lot of the same videos that a lot of people do in general, the wrap-ups, the book hauls, the TBRs, um, reading vlogs. One thing that I do want to do a little bit differently than I think I often see is work week reading vlogs because I do work full time. I have to commute. So a lot of my time I cannot spend reading. I wish that I could. <laughs> so I think doing the work week reading vlogs is just a very realistic way of showing, okay, here's what I'm actually able to read in a week. Here's how I can squeeze in reading because I'm very much have a 40 hour work week with a crazy commute. So, you know, just like a a video that I feel like could be very relatable to a lot of people <laughs> because, you know, most people are not full-time booktubers who can just read for a living. I wish I could. I, I envy that so much. <laughs> Another thing I really want to do is um, for any anticipated releases that I have coming up, doing like read-alongs. Um, one that I'm so excited for is um, Stephanie Garber's new book coming out in September. That's also my birth month. So I want to reread all of Stephanie Garber's books leading up to the finale of her most recent trilogy. So that's one video idea I'm really excited about. Okay. Number three is what are you most excited for about this new channel? So kind of like I mentioned earlier, it's just the community aspect and being able to, I think I just, um, there's shrimp chips back there. <laughs> In case you're wondering what that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think just meeting new people, the community aspect, that's the thing that I'm the most excited about. Okay, number four is why do you love reading? Which, how do you answer that question? I don't even know. I just, I always have, I always will. <laughs> I just, I think the best thing that I found about reading is always finding new characters to relate to, to love, to ship with other people, to look up fan art and get excited. Um, and you know, much like a lot of people say, there's reading as a hobby and there's also book shopping as a hobby. So I've always wanted to build a really beautiful library collection. So, um, 
Yeah, I also love reading for the aspect of going to bookshops, going to libraries, finding rare and beautiful books, and just looking at them <laughs> and loving them because they're so beautiful. So, um, I don't know, I would say I'm very much like a character-driven reader, so I read to find characters that I can relate to and that can teach me something new about the world that I don't already know or something that I could learn about myself in a way or other people. You know what I mean? The characters. That's what it is. Okay, number five is what book got you into reading? And I have to say, I feel like my reading really came in waves growing up. Like, I've been reading forever. <laughs> like, very early on, all the way back to um, doing the AR reading program at my elementary school and so I loved reading like Junie B. Jones and a series of unfortunate events. So later in life I got really into The Hunger Games, Throne of Glass, all the Sarah J Moss of course, and then um, in more somewhat recent years it's been you know Patrick Rothfuss, Name of the Wind, Robin Hobbs, Realm of the Elderlings. Those have really um, hooked me into like epic fantasy. So it comes in waves whenever I find new things to love, but those are some of like the big titles that have kept me reading. Okay, number six is what questions would you ask your favorite, favorite booktuber? Your favorite booktubers. Um, and I guess I would just ask like how you balance it all. You know, if you do, um, work full-time or part-time or if you are a caregiver or so many other things how are you able to balance it all and do you feel like that you still enjoy books for reading them or do you more so find yourself enjoying them just to make content or to have something to say if that makes sense i guess that would be my question okay number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome um, definitely making the content itself, feeling confident in sitting here, doing the dang thing, looking <laughs> at the camera rather than the little side screen, and, you know, having the confidence to post it, <laughs> even though people in my everyday, day-to-day -day life could see it. Um, yeah, that would be the hardest thing to overcome, definitely. <laughs> Number eight is, when did you start reading? Which, again... I feel like I kind of answered that question a little bit earlier, but since I was very, very little, I loved reading when I was about, um, I don't know, 10, let's say. <laughs> I can distinctly recall, you know, reading A Series of Unfortunate Events, all the books I mentioned before, and then again when I was maybe 14 or 15, and then again a new longer wave that has still lasted to this day when I was probably like... 18 or 19. Number nine is where do you read? Everywhere. <laughs> because since I have a commute, since I have to balance so many moving parts in my life, I just will read anywhere that I can. I love reading in bed, but I will fall asleep. I love reading outside. I love reading on my commute with my uh, headphones in. And yeah, anywhere. On the couch, on the floor, anywhere. Anywhere I can do it, that's the place to read. I also love reading in like the library, in the bookstore, in a cafe, but that is a very rare occasion for me. So, <laughs> so we're just going to pretend that the lighting and everything did not drastically change when I was almost done filming, <laughs> but um, I got cut off earlier. So I'm going to just finish this up here. So I was on the last question. And the last question, number 10, is what kind of books do you like to read? So I've prepared a little stack here to give you a little sample, a little sample of my reading tastes. So, ooh, here they are. <laughs> so starting off, I mentioned Robin Hobb earlier. So this is Assassin's Apprentice. I feel like this has been getting more and more popular as the years go by, which fills me with so much joy and hope for humanity. <laughs> but I love Robin Hobb. 
Um, I read the entire Realm of the Elderlings, which is like the, it's like 16 books, I think, um, between 2018 and 2020. So it took me three years to complete and I want to reread them again. So that's another video idea too. But yeah, I just love Robin Hobb. I think that she is such an amazing author. Um, and I need more from her. If that ever happens, I, I will die. I will spontaneously combust. So, <laughs> um, another author I mentioned earlier, another complete favorite is the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. Stephanie Garber, um, is just a dove. I just love her so much and, um, <laughs> I will consume anything that she writes and I really want to reread all of her books this year. So another one I really enjoyed last year was An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This one was like very beautiful, very cozy. I want to read more stuff like this. And of course I also love reading a lot of graphic novels. One of my favorites of this year already is On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. I just loved how much storytelling was in this graphic novel. I am truly obsessed and I bought a copy immediately. <laughs> and lastly, I love to read um, a lot of manga. Um, I have loved Fruits Basket since I was in elementary school. I have the whole set, read the whole thing. I love it. And I've been discovering and reading a lot more manga lately. So, so these are the five books that I think would give you a really good idea of the types of things that I really like to read and types of things that I'll be chatting about on this channel. So if any of those interest you, um, I would love to chat with you about any of them. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to any of the people who have been keeping this tag alive for the past like 10 years. It's so crazy that people still watch this tag and find new creators from it. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll chat with you later. Bye.